Imaging is a really critical piece of patient care, particularly today. Imaging allows you to see inside the body and get clues as to what's going on in terms of a patient's health. In terms of Mass General, we really offer a different level of imaging. We're completely specialized so that every imager here focuses on one particular body system. For about the past 10 years, we've been working on bringing digital mammography to a three-dimensional platform, and that's tomosynthesis. What tomosynthesis does is it takes multiple low-dose images of the breast and synthesizes them into a three-dimensional data set. The radiologist will then look through that data set incrementally being able to look behind structures, beside structures, to find cancers that we weren't able to see before on a standard mammogram. Okay, Mrs. Jones, come on up here with me. For the patient, having a tomosynthesis exam will not feel very different from having a standard mammogram. The machine looks similar, but rather than staying still, the x-ray tube is going to move in an arc over the patient, acquiring those multiple images. But the beauty of the machine is that it will actually take both the standard mammogram and the tomosynthesis sweep in one compression. So the patient won't actually perceive that anything different is happening. What's happening is with a single compression that they're used to, a single positioning that they're used to, we're giving them a series of about 50 pictures. Those images will then be sent to the radiologist, synthesized into a package where the radiologist can page through one image at a time, looking individually at every separate area of the breast. So as we're sitting here looking at these initial images, one thing that draws my eye right away is this area right here in the right breast. As I look at this as a radiologist, this looks like a mass. And so I'm concerned and I need to get some additional images. So as we pan through, I now have the standard mammogram on the left and the tomosynthesis imaging on the right. And what I'm gonna do now is actually scroll through that data set. So I'm moving through one millimeter at a time, looking at the breast from bottom to top, and I'm focusing my attention around this area. So as I pan through, I can in fact see that there's no mass here at all, that it's in fact these normal structures that are overlapping, that combine to make it look like a mass on this image. And so I'm in fact able to say that the patient has no abnormality at all. She doesn't need to come back, she's completely normal. And the tomosynthesis helped me do that. So in terms of interpretation of your imaging, it's important to know who's reading those images. Many cancers are much more easily detectable. Certain things, such as calcifications or certain round masses, such as cysts, have slightly different appearances on the tomosynthesis than they do on the mammogram. And with training, those are able to be interpreted. We have a team of 13 specialist breast imagers here. I don't know if any group has a larger number of subspecialty breast imagers in the country. And that's particularly important for patient care. We're incredibly excited here at Mass General to have led the team that really pioneered this technology and brought it to fruition in the clinical realm. And we're going to be the first institution in the United States to do a clinical tomosynthesis examination. But the most exciting part is being able to offer this technology to our patients because it adds so much value to their care, really allowing us to potentially find their cancers earlier which will lead to a higher cure rate, but also to not have them come back for unnecessary uh, additional testing and procedures. That's really the dual benefit of tomosynthesis. It's so exciting from a standpoint of women's health to be able to come up with a test that will um, decrease the anxiety associated with the mammogram, to decrease the, the callback rate. It would be wonderful if we could prevent breast cancer, but we're not there yet. And so our best tool today is early detection. And the cornerstone of early detection has been mammography. But because mammography is not perfect, there's room for improvement. Tomosynthesis is mammography, only better. It's going to allow us to look through that breast and find things that we wouldn't have been able to see on a standard mammogram. And that's going to equate to earlier detection and better outcomes for our patients.